ओके सो बिस्मिल्लाम टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस डेटा कम्युनिकेशन एंड कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क कोर्स सो आवर नेक्स्ट सो इन द लास्ट क्लास इफ यू डू रिमेम्बर सो वी आर डिस्कसिंग चैप्टर नंबर वन फर्स्ट चैप्टर and we had discussed the topic what is the internet and what is a protocol network edge host and access networks okay so in today's class we are going to continue the topic access network edge host and what are different types of access networks so we will discuss the different types of access networks that are used in practice their pros and cons their advantages etc and we will discuss physical media okay so chapter number 1 so we are discussing the network edge host and access network as we know that a computer network it can be divided into two parts one is called network edge and another is called network core network edge what does it mean the end systems the hosts are the end system when they are connected directly to the internet so this part is called network edge and the technology that are used to connect the host the end system to the internet this technology are is called access networks so the mobile host can be connected to the internet via different access networks for different types of physical media can be used like wired wireless etc so now we are discussing that what types of access networks are used and practiced so let us discuss this topic in detail okay so access network and physical media what is it how to access network means how to connect end systems to the edge routers to the first router of the internet okay so how it is connected this is called access network and the routers the interconnection of the router is called core network okay so we are discussing this type this is called edge network access network like this one this one okay so the access network are the it can be categorized into different categories like residential access networks that is used for internet providing for providing internet access to the homes institutional access networks like for example the enterprise like university school organizations they access the internet this is called institutional access internet or mobile access network that are we are currently using 3g or 4g so these are different types of networks so we will discuss them uh when we are discussing the access network so within we can discuss whether they, it results in whether it can be categorized into residential access network or institutional access network or mobile so all these access networks that we will discuss <coughs> they will be discussed based on two parameters first is their bandwidth that how many bits can be sent per second this is called bandwidth data rate how much data rate can be supported so different access network they support different access rate they can support different bandwidths or their access network can be shared or it can be a dedicated shared means that multiple users they share the access network dedicated means that the access network is dedicated to a particular user okay so we will discuss uh, the access networks based on 
these two parameters and all access networks that are used in, in current they can be categorized into these three types okay so now we are going to discuss the first technology that is used for access network this is called DSL digital subscriber line DSL it is basically used for residential access network that is they are using the telephone line the public switch telephone network the telephone line that is already deployed in the homes for telephone or voice communication purpose those same lines can be used for internet access for data access okay so you can see that this DSL line it is dedicated it is a dedicated because each home it has a dedicated line that connects the home to a central office okay now the DSL that is used okay for telephone purpose so basically it supports analog signal the voice is an analog signal and the internet the data network it is digital data so the computer system digital data digital signal it is converted by DSL modem the digital data or signal is converted to the analog signal and then it is forwarded okay so when it is forwarded so it is forwarded to the central office at the central office we have another device this is called DS DSL axis multiplier axis multiplexer M is multiplexer M is axis DSL axis multiplexer what is its functionality basically it combines the signal or data from all homes and then it forwarded if it is a voice then it is forwarded over to the phone network if it is a internet or data traffic then it is forwarded to, to the internet okay so it means that this mobile uh, telephone office the telephone company it is working as a internet ISP as well okay now the, the, what is the functionality of splatter so here this telephone line it basically carries two types of data one is voice that is the telephone data and another is data that is at the internet data internet traffic okay this line is divided into three channels depending upon frequencies depending upon frequency okay so frequency wise this link is divided into three channel one channel is used for wise communication for the telephone wise communication one channel is used for upstreaming upstreaming means the data that is sent from this computer over the internet this is called upstream one channel is used for downstream that is the internet data the data from the internet it is coming to the this desktop so this is called downstreaming okay so there are so this link single link is divided into three channels okay one channel is used for wise for telephone wise communication for this telephone wise communication and two channel one channel uh, the second channel is used for upstreaming for upstreaming means the data that is moved from the this desktop over the internet and one channel the third channel is used for the data moving downstream downstream means the data that is comes from the internet to the desktop okay and what is the working of this DSL to modem it basically converts digital to analog signal and signal to digital 
here this DSLM when it forwards because when this data is digital signal so DSLM convert it into analog signal when now when it is to be tra transmitted to the internet again this here it is converted from analog to digital okay so we have a uh, DSL modem we have a DSL axis multiplexer now when from the central office this red color you can see when the data comes so the data can be wise or it can be a data wise means that it is for the telephone and the data means that it is internet data so it is for the desktop so this splitter it basically divides the data it checks that whether the data is for wise if it is a wise data then it is forwarded to the telephone if it is the data internet traffic then it is forwarded to the DSL model okay so this is the functionality of splitter so we have discussed the DSL this DSL modem splitter DSL access multiplexer and the telephone network okay so what is the advantage of DSL the main advantage of DSL is that that is to use the existing telephone lines there is no need to deploy new infrastructure for providing the internet the existing telephone line the existing telephone infrastructure it can be used for both wise as well as for internet communication okay data over a DSL phone line goes to the internet the wise data over DSL line it goes to the telephone network so here it is the functionality of DSL AM the DSL AM it decides that the data is for the if it is the wise communication so it this it is a wise data it is, it is the telephone data then it is moved to the telephone network if it is the internet data data then it is moved to the internet voice over telephone line goes to the telephone networks so it uses frequency division multiplexing that i have already explained that this single link it has three channel so how three channels are defined these are defined based on frequency division multiplexing and this frequency division multiplexing we will study this in chapter number six or seven okay in this book later on okay now the DSL it can support it different data rates and that depends upon the distance the wire gauge that is gauge that is used so different types of uh, so it can vary but normally usually the DSL it can support up to 2 MB upstream transmission and up to 24 MB downstream transmission upstream is the data that is moving from the desktop or the internet and downstreaming means the data that is moving from the internet to the desktop okay so you can see that upstream is less as compared to downstream so this why we can say that it is asymmetric asymmetric means that upstream and downstream data rate is different okay now we are going to discuss another type of access network and this is called cable network this is called cable network so the cable network it basically use the existing cable network that provides television access to the homes so that cable network that is used for television access it can be also used for internet as well okay so it also have a cable modem and this cable modem it basically converts the digital data to the analog okay so basically this uh, uh, the cable network it has a hybrid fiber optical cable network like this way it is also called hybrid fiber coaxial axis why because from the central office this is called cable head, head end from here to the fiber node 
it is the fiber link and from the fiber node to the this is called junction point from junction point to the homes it is basically axial cable and it is sheared medium okay and from this coaxial cable each home takes a connection so that's why it is called hybrid fiber coaxial access cable okay and each you know and on this cable there are different channels television channels they are uh, their data is coming so how to differentiate that which data uh, so there are different channels for each television there are different channels okay so these channels they are defined based on frequency division multiplexing so different channels transmit data in different frequency bands okay the so the cable network okay it has a cmts okay this device uh basically what is its functionality that when it receives the data so if it is a internet data then it is moved to the internet so its functionality is same as to dsl access multiplexing okay here the splitter functionality is same as to compare to the dsl splitter so when the data comes so it, it is the splitter functionality that whether it is the uh, tv data then it is moved to the tv if it is the internet data then it is moved to the storm to the cable modem okay to the cable modem okay and one thing that should be noted that this axial cable it is sheared medium okay so a different frequency it is sheared okay so it is a shear medium between uh, so the data and tv they are sheared uh, uh, by using the frequency distribution so it is also called hybrid fiber coaxial cable as i have discussed that it is using the fiber optics and the coaxial cable both the links are both type of links are used so that's why it is called hybrid fiber coaxial cable and it is also asymmetric because the upstream and downstream data rate is different the downstream data rate is up to 30 mbps and the upstream transmission is up to 2 mbps and it is also used for residential for a home access network okay network of cable and fiber optic attach home to isp routers you know this is isp internet so they are at, so using the cable fiber optics as well as the cable network both are used to connect these homes to the internet okay so the home share access network to cable head in unlike dsl which is has a dedicated you know in the dsl there was a dedicated link but here this link is not dedicated it is shared among different homes different homes they are attached to the this same link to the central office okay so this is called cable modem terminator system so its functionality is same as we have discussed dsl axis multi multiplexer okay along is the dsl and cable these are two major technologies that are used nowadays for residential home access network for home these uh, these two are for example in us 85 percent of brand uh, broadband access network they are dsl and cable based in the for home or residential access network okay but nowadays another technology is coming that is called fiber to home it is called ftth in this ftth the optical path is deployed from the central office from this central office to the home fiber optics is deployed for example this technology is used in uae sweden etc and for this purpose different competing technologies are 
supposed for example uh, direct fiber that from central office to each home there is a direct fiber but another one is like this one okay here this is the central office there is a device which is called OLT okay and the from the OLT from the central office to a point junction point there is a single fiber optic and from this single uh, uh, junction for each home there is a, uh, a, a dedicated fiber optic for example here is a dedicated fiber optic here is a dedicated fiber optic here is a dedicated fiber optic and there is a device this is called optical network terminator it is used okay so basically when the data from all the homes they come at this point then it is multiplexed to the uh, this is transmitted toward the single link and when the data comes from this then it is it is uh, it is split it toward whether it is belong to this home or this and this okay so this technique it is uh, there are they can support up to gigabits per second and it is uh, nowadays it is being uh, used uh, and its uh, usage I think it is more than 30% have its usage is increased by 30% okay now we have another type of network which is called access network or home network so in the home network basically what we do like for example here we have a home network within the home that this network or this connection it can be shared the internet can be shared by multiple users for example uh, a user in the home is accessing through the mobile another is accessing through the laptop someone is accessing through the desktop someone is accessing through the uh, uh, for example the refrigerator is attached to the internet so all these things they are accessing the same home network okay so for this purpose there is a uh, internet switch a router why it is because it is used to attach the wire and here is a wireless access point that is used to attach the wireless nodes okay to connect the wireless nodes okay but nowadays we have a uh, nowadays uh, what we have uh, for example we have a uh, wireless access point okay so this wireless access point is used for what purpose this wireless access point is used to connect wireless nodes and this is the wired ethernet okay wired ethernet this is a router okay is this router has firewall net etc we will discuss what is firewall what is net we will discuss later on okay so this is our router and this router is connected through the dsl modem to the rest of the internet okay so this is called home network okay but nowadays uh, what we have we have uh, the wireless uh, access point and the router they can be combined in a single device they can be combined in a single device okay so but the rest of the home they can be accessed to uh, they can be attached to the internet via dsl via cable or via ftth okay now we have another type of network this is called enterprise access network or ethernet typically it is used by the companies or universities organization okay for example there is uh, the this is the network of comsat university the comsat university is attached to the internet via this router this is called gateway and this link that is uh, this is called access network institution link or uh, that, that connects the campus university to the internet so this is institution this is access network so this access network can be any type okay so uh, here their router there are different switches they are interconnected through and they are called lane okay so it can support basically up to 10 mbps 100 mbps 1 gigabit per second 10 gigabit per second 
okay so today any system typically connect to the ethernet so we will discuss what is ethernet technology so the ethernet technology they will be discussed in the uh, chapter uh, in uh, chapter number six in the link layer okay so this is so all these uh, people in the all the users they access the this link this institution in network uh, and they are connected in the lane in the local area network farm okay and the institution can be connected to the internet through the isp y uh dsl it can be y 3g 4g satellite and any other broadband technology they can use okay similarly wireless uh, access network it can be uh, for example uh, there are different types of uh, uh, wireless uh, wireless lane uh, wireless lane it is used within a building okay so wireless lane it is used within a uh, building uh, okay so it can uh, in a building it can uh, be used up to a distance of 100 feet and there are different standards available it is 2.11 bgn it is also called wi-fi and it can support data rate up to 11 54 or 450 mb per second data rate okay so the wi-fi it has a access point and there are mobile nodes that are connected to the access point and then access point is connected to the routers and nowadays there are devices that have both access point and router in a single device Moreover, the internet can be accessed by using wide area wireless network like for example cellular network that is used for example mobile phone like you phone Huawei, zone okay so this is called wide area access network okay and it can support uh, data rate from 1 up to 10 mb per second but it can cover large distance it can cover out it it can it has a limited distance it can be up to 100 feet but this can be up to some kilometers okay so here in this uh, wireless network we have a uh, towers base station okay and the users they are connected to the base station and then base station are interconnected and the base station are connected to the internet okay so for example 3g 4g lte these are called wide area wireless wireless access network okay so up to now we have discussed uh, the enterprise access network then wireless lane and wired area wireless access network okay similarly we have another type of access network this is called satellite access network satellite access network is used in the uh, those area where normal internet access is not available for example you can see uh, in Canada there are some remote locations rural areas where there is the where uh, where the internet is provided by using the satellite access network okay and this article that is i have uh, mentioned to you this is on the bbc and uh, you can go through it and you can discuss that how the what are the challenges for that community okay to access the internet okay so uh, this satellite access network is also used okay so Till now, we have discussed several types of access network uh, types that are used. Uh, so, uh, so we have discussed these uh, DSL, cable, uh, wireless, uh, lane, wire, wireless, uh, wireless, wired area networks and the FTTH. Okay. So, uh, next we will uh, continue the link types. Okay?